Hi, I'm Fran with Stampendous, and I want to show you a little bit of how we can achieve all the beautiful, vivid colors of the Laurel Birch look here uh, with Copic markers. And we developed this little chart of Copic marker colors, and you can download it in color or in black and white and color in yourself to make sure you have an exact representation of all the colors on here. And you're not limited to this, but this is a tool to help you get to this color look quickly. And so I've pulled out only those um, markers here, and let's do a little bit of stamping. I'm going to use this new beautiful flower. This is Flora. And when you remove it from the acetate that it comes on in the package, you want to make sure you're not removing the cling label. This has the design on it and it will keep it all together and allow you to press it onto your block. And if you press it this way, that'll make sure that you're secure <laughs> before you add ink. And now my Memento ink. You can see here that any color combination goes and a lot of color changes within a space is actually makes it very interesting. And I'm no expert with Copic markers. I've just been uh, experimenting with it to figure out how to achieve this look. And I use the colors in ways different from others. And it's not so much about shading from light to dark with Laurel Birch as it is in doing the color changes. So this is where they may all be vivid colors and it's just a matter of moving from one color to another perhaps even in a rather random way here. But I find it's quick and easy. You get such beautiful colors. And again, I'm using colors that are all um, referenced on this chart. And there's not a whole lot of rhyme or reason to it here. is actually a look that fits with the Laurel Birch approach and that sometimes adds a very interesting bit of texture to sort of blend your colors together in a different sort of way.
A gold pen is another way to add some accents. Laurel did a lot of beautiful gold paint on things that just added a really nice touch. So anyway, there you can see a quick development of colors that, like on the ones over here, each one's a little bit different, but it all works together and gives you that beautiful Laurel Birch look. Here's some other flowers from the new set, and you can see the same grouping of them in two different color schemes, and they all have lots of colors in each flower, which is, uh, just makes it so fun. Here's a bunch of the dogs, and who knew the dogs could be so colorful? <laughs> I think I used every color. And again, a lot of the stippling gives you an easy way to make fast transition colors between one area and another. And here's the mermaids. So again, you can just enjoy all of your different colors and uh, working off of your chart. That should let you get started and have some fun with it. You can see these are all my originals. And I just used our mixed media white paper, and I've been very happy with that. So have some fun coloring all of your Laurel Birch stamps.